All right, guys, we're about to go further into detail. Buckle up. It's going to get a little real on this ride. Um, I want to, first of all, just say that, you know, it's a lot of brainwashing going on right now. It's a lot of manipulation going on right now as far as media, as far as radio. We all know this. But have we really dove, dove deeper into what's actually going on, right? To, to the things that they're trying to brainwash our kids with, not even just schools only, not even just that only, but media, radio, everything. Everything is for a reason. The entertainment system, everything that's going on right now, right? So I just want to dive deeper into the manipulation with the devil that they use, because that's exactly what they're doing. They want us to look and see the devil and see it as a, a you know, a, a good thing. They're subconsciously brainwashing us by planting seeds in our, in our mind, planting seeds in our Shemayim. Hallelujah. Just go down a, a, a good list of things that they want us to look at and want us to see and want it to be okay by saying it's art and all kind of just buffoonery, right? Let's start off with Billie Eilish. A lot of people watch this girl, right? Many children, many... You go to one of you see one of her shows, it's all kind of teenagers and stuff like that. The buffoonery. Now, what you might not know is you look into her catalog, you'll see a song that says, All good girls go to hell. You think to yourself, what is going on? What's going on? Matter of fact, this is the video to that song. All girls go to hell. Listen to me. As soon as you dive into the lyrics, the first line, my Lucifer is lonely, right? You continue. Verse one, standing there, killing time, can't commit. Anything but crime, Peter's on vacation and open invitation, animals evidence, pearly gates, pearly gates. Now, now what you're gonna notice is they put things in these songs down from her to Beyonce to J Lo. They put things in these songs where it's perverted type scripture type stuff, right? Let's keep it going. Pearly gates look more like a picket fence. Once you get inside them, got friends but can't invite them. He was burning California. My turn to ignore you. Don't say I didn't warn you. All the good girls go to hell. This is Billie Eilish. One of the biggest, biggest stars. At some point, you have to think to yourself, why are they blowing these type of people up? Anyways, let's continue going. All the good girls go to hell because even God herself. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Even God herself has enemies. Now I want to be the first to say God is neither male nor female. God has attributes of a father and a mother. God is spirit. John 4, 24. We must worship him in spirit and truth. However, things are symbolic in the world, right? They're symbolic. So when it comes to the spirit and the soul, it's symbolic of male and female. To have to, to 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 be soulish is to be female in the spiritual realm, right? To be masculine is to be spiritual, right? This is what the early church uh, early church taught us. You know what I mean? It's going deeper into the spirit and truth. So when you say things like God herself, you're saying that God is soulish. You don't put the Lord in that category. We pray to the Father, Hallelujah, right? So. Because even God herself, this is already disrespectful to the Lord. And once the water starts to rise and the heaven's out of sight, she'll want the devil on her team. What is going on? Again, my Lucifer is lonely. Let's continue this trash. Look at you needing me. You know I'm not your friend without some greenery. Right there already. You, you know money's a lot of these people's God. And the crazy thing is you had a lot of rappers, you had a lot of people saying money over everything, money this, money that, not even realizing that you're coming into agreement with a spirit, not even realizing that you're coming into agreement with evil. Step out of that, my friend. Step out of that place. When you, when you start worshiping money, when you start going into that realm, you are stepping out of a place of, of being with the Lord. Step out of that. You know I'm not your friend without some greenery. Walk in wearing fetters. Peter should know better. Why does she keep mentioning Peter? Question. 
Your cover up is caving in. Man is such a fool. Why are we saving him? Man is such a fool. Why are we saving him? This sounds like the devil just talking. You know, Lucifer was jealous of the creation of, of Adam. Listen to me. God wants us one with him, right? I was just reading in I was just reading in the book of Clement, intimacy with God, how the fallen angels were double minded. They were never one with God. They never had oneness with the Lord. In other words, they never came into perfection like that. The way the Lord is building us to come into perfection with him. They never had that. They were double minded. They were hurled to earth. Right. So and this is deeper. This 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 is deeper stuff that you go into when you start reading you know, different things that also align with the word of God. You know, you start learning about these different fallen angels. You start learning about these Nephilims. You start learning about these just wicked, wicked, divine beings. And listen to me when I tell you this. Listen to me when I tell you this. The devil, fallen angels, they're not dumb. They're not dumb. They have divine knowledge. You have to think about this for a second. If they came from heaven, they have divine knowledge. Let's let's think about that. They're not dumb. This is why we must engraft the word in us to evolve into such a higher divine knowledge. To evolve. The, the Lord wants us to come into perfection. Be ye perfect as your father is perfect in heaven. Stop going, stop listening to these churches that tell you things like. You can't be perfect. I'm not talking about not making a mistake. I'm not talking about things like that. I'm talking about coming into perfection, which we do by engrafting the word of God. Listen to me. Galatians 2.20, there's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives inside of me. If Christ is engrafting inside of you, if Christ is manifesting inside of you and Christ is perfect, you're coming into perfection. A lot of these teachers won't teach you that. Because a lot of these teachers have been infiltrated by the enemy. It says the son of perdition will sit in God's temple to, pretending to be God. That word temple is the, is the Greek word naos. There's two words for temple in, in the Bible. Naos and Haron. Haron is a physical temple. It's a building. But when it comes to naos, it's talking about a spiritual temple. And in that part in the Bible, when it says the son of perdition will be in God's temple, it's talking about the naos. So while a lot of people are waiting for, you know, a temple to be actually built, when you actually go deeper into spirit and truth, the Lord's talking about church, talking about a spiritual temple. Let's continue this trash. And Billie Eilish, by the way, who doesn't know, we're reading the lyrics of Billie Eilish. Man is such a fool. Why are we saving him? This just, that line right there blows my mind I, I i i never even like really paid attention to that man is such a fool why are we saving him we know that the lord came down was sacrificed so we can step into salvation now so the lord saved you know saved us and right here it says man is such a fool why are we saving him this makes me think like who took her pen and was took over her poisoning themselves now begging for our help wow he was burning california my turn to ignore you Complete trash. All the good girls go to hell. All the good girls go to hell because even God herself, blah, blah, and heaven's out of sight. She don't want the devil on her team. While Lucifer is lonely, there's nothing, le there's nothing left to save now. My God is going to owe me. There's nothing left to save now. This is Billie Eilish's lyrics, ladies and gentlemen. My question is, before we even go into me showing you what the video looks like, my whole question is why are they blowing these people up on the media? <clears throat> There's an agenda behind it, and we're getting down to the agenda right now. Even in the video, even in the video of all good girls go to heaven, it's all, it's all symbolic. It's all symbolic. She had white wings in the video. What is she doing right here? She's falling. So she had white wings in the video and she's falling. What does she fall? She falls into a dark, she, she falls into a, a black pit. 
she falls into a black pit where she grows where she has black wings now covered in black wings fire behind her now where do we see something like this at biblically oh i know luke 10 18 he replied i saw satan fall like lightning from heaven and here you have her white wings falling to the ground and she has black wings and look at the background people dancing in fire they really want y'all out here to believe that it's just fun in hell it's a party all of this listen i wouldn't wish wish hell on my worst enemy i have a brother in my church who experienced hell there's all kind of different testimonies about people experiencing hell and listen to me when i tell you hell is not a game i wouldn't care i don't care how mad i am at, at my worst enemy i would not wish hell on nobody nobody not even the worst person in the world i wouldn't wish hell on them at the end of the day it's a spiritual battle ephesians 6 12 says so it's people coming into agreement with these evil spirits listen to me it's people who've come into so much agreement that they're just walking around as an avatar now they're possessed a lot of these politicians a lot of these higher elites they've come into put they've come into full possession they're avatars Now you got people like this that they blow up Billie Eilish all the good girls go to hell her song they blow up and they start talking about hell they start brainwashing us subconsciously planting seeds in our mind now listen to me look at this this is one of the big ones that they did with Lil Nas X right I showed y'all one of these they did it with Lil Nas X right now this man slid from heaven to hell on a stripper pole or he was with Satan so the lap dancing is the devil all of that all of that I want you to believe that this is some kind of game these people don't even know what they listen little Nas X doesn't know what he's doing came out with a Satan shoe with the with the Bible verse Luke 10 18. I just showed y'all what that was a Satan fell like lightning from heaven little Nas X doesn't know what he's doing these people are puppets these people are puppets for for higher agendas they don't know what they're doing this man came out with old town road it was performing for millions and millions and millions of kids millions of children came out with a children book right this man who had millions and millions and millions of children singing his songs came out with a children's book and all of a sudden made a turn where he started messing with Lucifer as if it was something good. You tell me there's no hidden agenda there. You tell me this, this boy thought about all of that himself. No, that's demonic possession. That's demonic agenda. That's higher elites controlling a man like he's a puppet by using money as his God. That's what that is. That's what that is. Had the same person on People magazine with a pregnant stomach. I got news for you, ladies and gentlemen. Men can't get pregnant. I don't care how many times they try to brainwash us and manipulate us to think these things. Men cannot get pregnant. Biological women who going through a transition mode, they can get pregnant. I don't care if they grew a mustache or grew sideburns took hormone pills and shots all their lives they're biological women biological men cannot get pregnant i'm done with the lies i'm done with this whole emotions over facts all that's doing is hurting the people all that's doing is hurting people it's dangerous when you start just catering to people's emotions because when you get into that place I showed y'all the video where I went to the University of Houston. I was asking these people, well, what about if people start identifying as demons and frogs? Are you going to, you know, or if they start identifying as dogs and cats, are you going to bark? Are you going to meow? And a lot of these people were saying yes. Now, you answer me this question. When somebody identifies as a dog and they want to marry a dog, do they step into a place of bestiality? Or are we just going to ignore that fact? 
Or when a man identifies as a child and a child identifies as a grown man and they decide to marry each other, do we step into a place of pedophilia? Or do we step into minor attractive people per minor minor attractive persons? Question. Question. Because that's where they're getting. It's a demonic agenda where they continue to try to brainwash us into wanting, I'm accepting different things. And then it goes further and further and further. Listen to me. I love everybody, right? I love everybody, but even the whole LGBTQ thing continues to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. LGBTQ added an S on it now, satanic, growing bigger and bigger and bigger. You know why? Because once you step out of God's will, this it's never enough. You want more and more and more because it's not you. It's spirits on you. The wages of sin is death. They're going to continue going until you just pass away and perish. So we had Little Nas X, People Magazine, Belly, right? You also had, and that's just two of them. That was Little Nas, that was Little Nas X, that was Billy Eilish. You also had Bella Porsche who blew completely up on TikTok. Blew completely up on TikTok and fast, fast. Then she started doing music. What was the music about? Mm, let's look at the lyrics. No halo. No halo. We know what hell is represent. Baby, I'm the reason why hell's so hot. Inferno. Baby, I'm the reason why bad's so fun. Hell's so hot. Oh, so, so you have children who were drawn to Bella Porsche. Loved her. And listen, children are like sponges. They soak up. They absorb. And the enemy knows that. So if you can get the mind of the children, you can get the future. So children, watch these people. Bella Porsche, Little Nas X. They blow them up, doing things that are okay. So parents look at that like, oh, okay, they can watch this. Then all of a sudden, there's a, there's, a, there's a twist. Why? Why? And listen, I don't even know how long this, this video is going to be up. Because when truth like this starts getting revealed, light starts penetrating, even in the darkest places. They start putting fact checks up. They start trying to shadow ban my page because they don't like this truth. So I don't even know. Share it while you can. Amen. But they get these people, they blow them up. Bella Porsche, Little Nas X. And all of a sudden, it's a switch. Why? Why? Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, ladies and gentlemen. Second Peter 3. One through five. Know this, in the last days, perilous times will come. Men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents. And listen, this isn't just talking about our physical parents. Let's throw that out there right now. Mothers and fathers in the faith are apostles and prophets. Unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, slanders unrestrained fierce despisers of those who are good despisers of those who are good and we wonder why they shadow ban my stuff we wonder why they shadow ban truth we wonder why they want to take down so much things that are being said when it comes to facts i guarantee you if i look at my tiktok right now they took down the video i just uh i just posted a video about um who is the real lucifer i'm gonna post it on my facebook too you guys will see it after i get off of here despises of those who are good, traitors, reckless, conceited, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. How many people out here love money? Love money. Lo I mean, I mean, love money. Money's their God. Money's their power. We have to understand that. When people get a certain amount of money, they start feeling like they have power, which is a trick of the enemy. Money does not make you powerful, ladies and gentlemen. 
when you leave this earth, you're not taking a cent with you. A cent. They used to bury mummies with, with, with treasures, thinking that they're going to have the treasures on the other side. Whoops. Once they crossed over, they realized that wasn't true. Lovers of pleasure is more than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying its power. Turn away from such people. Having a form of godliness, but denying its power. How many churches out here tell you that God doesn't do miracles no more? How many? Get out of those churches. Why would God do a miracle there when there's steady saying he doesn't do them? Now, let's go into this. Let's go into this. Let, 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 let's, let's put two in one. Let's knock out two birds and one stone. Them trying to make Satan look. Actually, let's say that for next time. Let's say that next time, because because that, that that that's a whole category, and I, I want to go deep into that, you guys. I want to go deep into that, so we're gonna say that for the, for the next segment. Hey, Amen. I just really wanted to show y'all how they're using these different artists, right, to manipulate children. They got schools nowadays manipulating kids. They got bills being passed to manipulate kids. Think that they're doing something for the children. Oh, you're doing something for the children, right? Okay, well, take away abortion. How about that? It's wicked. It's wicked. I'm gonna do the Satan. I'm gonna do this the segment on Satan tonight, you guys. Uh, on who is the real Lucifer. So let's say around eight-ish central time. Some sometime around there, you guys. So just come back and we'll talk about that part. Amen. Um, yeah, for those, for those who are here, you guys, uh, I'm posting more on my Patreon right now, a lot more unedited videos. You can see the whole, you can see the whole, um, the whole university of Houston, uh, interviews with all the kids on there, unedited, just full, just go to patreon.com Isaiah Robin. Uh, we're going out and doing a lot of more, you know, different discussions at a lot of these different places. We're about to start going out to these parades and uh, these different Antifa events. Just go to patreon.com, Isaiah Robbins, subscribe. You're also helping us. You know what I mean? Everything that um, we make on here, we put it back into the kingdom of God. Amen. Uh, and it's time for people to start just really doing that, you know, instead of using people of the Lord to do worldly things. Amen. So you want to support... Uh, you know what I mean? My brothers and sisters, you go to patreon.com, Isaiah Robin. We also got godlyvibes.com. You get some clothes off of there. Uh, use the code GLORY15. It's like 10% off, 15% off. Hey Amen. So we'll be back tonight, you guys. And we're gonna go on the um, we're gonna go on to the Lucifer, who's the real Lucifer situation. I really want you guys to see that. And because they're they're making out Lucifer to be something else, and they're making Jesus to be something else and planting false seeds. So we're gonna go into that. Hey Amen. I love you guys. We will be back tonight. God bless. Shalom.